like interviews, do you? No, I really, not, not really. I had a brother who's an extreme intro, uh, extrovert, and which kind of turned, he's an older brother, so it made me enter an introvert. And uh, I was always very lively and, you know, with among my friends. But outside of that, you know, I'd go to a dance and sit in the corner and whatever. I was afraid to ask girls to dance and things like that. Are you comfortable with ladies now? Not really. Really? Except I'm married now, so I, I've, I've got a lady, and I don't have to worry about it. That's so right. I'm not so I'm not so nervous. Are you getting any more comfortable with the romance, uh, love scenes? No, never mm -hmm. have, never have been comfortable in, in love scenes. Uh, that's very personal. Now, see here, we have this fantasy about you, the last real man. Oh God, <laughs> that was a sweet girl who wrote that. <laughs> But she really got carried away, I think. The Last Real Man, that's a pretty tough thing to put on somebody. I remember I'd read, it was People magazine. Mm -hmm. And uh, about two months before, so they had on the cover, they had Mel Gibson, the sexiest man alive. <laughs> I said, the poor guy's got to live up to that? That's a terrible thing to put on there. And then they put me on the cover and put The Last Real Man. Hard to live up to. Well, what would you have put on the cover? He's still around. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> a survivor. <laughs> the, a survivor, that's right. And you've always done what you thought was right. You walked away from Maverick when it was a big hit series. Mm -hmm. I don't want to work for those people anymore. And they made a mistake, breached my contract, and so I called them on it and got out of the contract. And then years later with the Rockford Files. Yeah, well, I quit that because of health. The physical end of it was so bad that it got to me mentally. And, you know, you work 15 hours every day, all day for six years, that's, that's kind of hard. And, uh, you know, my legs were gone and my back and my stomach and a lot of other things. And that preys on the mind. You know, you wonder why are you killing yourself, you know. And so finally the doctor says, you got to go take a rest. And I said, you, you're right, doc. And I did. What are the ladies in town saying? Oh, they're hanging over the back fences. These days, Jim seeks out tamer roles. In December, he stars with Sally Field in Murphy's Romance, a humorous look at contemporary courtship. He plays a small-town pharmacist. She plays a divorced mother. They think uh, three is a real interesting number. Jim has been in the business for three decades, but just recently the critics have really started to notice his work. He won extensive praise for playing a dying doctor in one of last season's top TV movies. You were nominated for a Golden Globe for Heart Sounds. Well, I... Good. <laughs> I didn't know that. Awards aren't important to you? No. no. So it, it doesn't matter to you if you got nominated for an Academy Award? No, I wouldn't, no. I, as a matter of fact, I really wouldn't like it too much. Why? Because I'd have to turn them down. You wouldn't go? No, I wouldn't go. Why not? I wouldn't know what to say if I got it. Um, I'd rather lose than win. Uh, and I hate to see five actors go up there and, and really give great performances, and four of them have to lose. And I just don't think that's right. I think they ought to, I think they ought to get, if they nominate five, they all up five ought to get one and go home. 